Corey, did you ever play Oregon Trail? Oh yeah, up? everyone dies of dysentery. Right, you always get dysentery, you but always. what you never did get is a rare exclusive hop that you could only find in Oregon. Because you never made it there. <laughs> you never made it there because you died. <laughs> but this beer is Hoptical Illusion with a touch of an ultra-exclusive rare Oregon hop. Glub, 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 glub. Before we get into this beer, you might have noticed that we opened it with this awesome BRC 50 cal bottle opener. I'm not really a gun guy myself, but this is pretty sweet. Yes, it's put out by Bullets to Bandages, which is founded by two former Navy bomb technicians. And all of their proceeds, well, some of their proceeds go to supporting veteran yeah. associations and charities. It's a group that we really are proud to support. And if you're interested yes. in getting yourself your own Brewery View Crew 50 cal bottle opener, check our website for a link. There will be a link in the description below as well. But get one of these. They are high quality and bad ass. Now let's get into this beer. Yeah, so this is Hoptical Illusion. It is an IPA by Bru uh, Blue Point. Sorry, Blue Point. By Blue Point Brewing Company. Uh, Patch Hog. Patch Hog, New York yeah, in uh, Long Island. The Long Island area. And uh, they actually just came to Ohio. So this is kind of a cool exclusive for us. Uh, we might be the first people in Ohio to try some Hoptical it, Illusion. It might, we might have another BRC Ohio <laughs> exclusive review. Yeah, so... Uh, this one's actually made with a hop that comes from an Oregon family farm. It's a small farm. They bought the entire crop this year, and we're excited to see what they have to offer. Okay, so. well, let's go ahead and uh, dive in. Yeah, just it, it smells really sweet and nice, uh, pleasant, a little tropical fruits going on. I get a lot of like citric, orange, yeah. tangerine, yeah. A, a new kind of like orange I just discovered a kumquat, which is a little mini kumquat. orange. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess. I get a little bit of like a dank aroma too. It's a little vegetal. Yeah, a little, a little musty. A little musty. Uh, kind of like those New Zealand type hops going on. Yeah, I mean, I think we can put our finger on a few of the hops. There is a blend of hops, but that one's just rare and exclusive. We'll never know. Yeah. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and dive in. All right. Cheers. cheers. It's really dank and really resinous. It's got this cool, almost piney flavor, but it's just earthy. Good earthiness. It's got a really nice lingering bitterness to yeah. it. Uh, it's not as in your face up front, but it comes in at 7%. So, I mean, we're borderlining double IPA yeah. range here. Yeah. And uh, I think you get that towards the back end of it. I think this mm -hmm. is more of kind of like a, a slow release IPA. Yeah. Like you get more as it goes. It reminds me of a little bit of like either Stone IPA or uh, the Enjoy By series. Because mm -hmm. it just has, it's not the tropical West Coast kind of flavors that I would expect. It's, it's just more of that earthy resinous. And you know what? I think it's a good... Um, subtlety to it because it's not in your face because sometimes that flavor for me gets overpowering it's really not ultra bitter either no, no i'm wondering you know with the with the higher abv it's probably balanced out pretty well by yeah. a pretty strong malt backbone so yeah. it's probably calming things down a little bit and at least bitterness and adding a little bit of sweetness to it i think it's actually a pretty approachable ipa mm -hmm. i and think I probably a lot of people even if they're not into hops and really into IPAs they could probably find themselves enjoying this one yeah absolutely and I think it's one that you could have more than one of even though it's kind of higher in alcohol the flavor isn't isn't going to be overwhelming to the point where you have one and you want to stop I really so really like that lingering bitterness yeah it's nice so we might have the exclusive for you here this might be the first time people in Ohio get to try it. you'll get to try it in a couple months but Ron prepare the people what are you mm -hmm. gonna give them I'm gonna give this one like an 88 89 okay. i think a high b plus yeah borderlining on an a minus i think it's really really approachable a nice clean ipa i do wish it was just slightly more bitter up front okay just to give me more of a hot punch i really like kind of like the back swing but i want a little bit more up front but really really good i could drink many of these yeah, I think drinkability is a key here, and for that, I'm actually going to go just a point higher and go 90. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking right on the A-minus range, too. Uh, I love the drinkability of this. I don't think it's overwhelming in any way, and I think that the hop flavor, even though it's not my thing, it's still approachable to me. So that's, that's you know, kudos to you for being able to do that with a, with a profile that's not really my favorite. But I would, I mean, love to buy more of these. These are great. Haven't had a bad Blue Point beer yet, so I'm pretty pumped for them to get to Ohio. Yeah. So the minute they do and you see them on your shelves, make sure you pick yourself up some Blue Point, especially some Hoptical Illusion. Until next time, always remember. With the Brew Review Crew, we'll review a brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. 
Hey guys, if you didn't know, we have a brand new podcast, Brewview Crew on tap. Go to brewviewcrew.com backslash iTunes to check out that podcast today. A new episode's coming out on Friday, but why not go back to just past Friday and check out our last episode? You can also find us where, Corey? You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google+, Plus, YouTube, everywhere. everywhere. I mean, Instagram. Instagram, we got everything. Make sure you find us, share us with your friends, and as always, enjoy. See ya.